Okay. Doesn't look, is it live on Instagram? Because it doesn't look like it. It is? All right. All right, all right. Today is, what is today? Today is April 8th, 2024. For all you out there who are able to view the eclipse in any way, shape, or form, I hope you uh, got to see it. However, you got to see it through your phone, through a camera, through however. Maybe you had one of those uh, welding devices or special goggles. I don't know. I didn't, uh, I kind of looked outside, but I didn't see any. I couldn't see it. Uh, the way I wanted to, we're here in Illinois. The path was down in Southern Illinois um, to really be blocked out, but it did get dark here. We had a perfect day, sunny, no clouds in the sky. So it was, um, it was a good opportunity to see the eclipse if, um, if we could see it, but uh, it was only partial here. We're up in Northern Illinois. So for those of you guys out there who are in the path, I hope you got to see something pretty amazing. Um, somebody was telling me the next one is 20, I guess, 20, uh, 2044, um, which is in 20 more years. I don't know, or maybe, maybe more, but anyways, um, my name is Phil from PDQ Merch Enterprises and the ATM Meshmine group page. We go live every Monday at 6 PM. Um, if any of this is helpful or all of this is helpful, please, um, please. Put something in a chat, a fire emoji, or um, a one would be good from time to time. It gets me uh, knowing that we're doing the right thing. Um, if you have a question, please answer a question in the chat, chat um, then I will try to answer it. Today's topic, um, we're going to talk about make sure your ATMs are secure from theft. Um, also, here at PDQ Merchant Enterprises, we sell ATMs. We process transactions. We sell uh, we off, we sell parts. Um, we offer repairs. So if your dispenser is bad, if you have a keypad that's bad, we will do an exchange on the keypad on your dispenser. We'll fix the dispenser and send your original one back. So, um, uh, and um, that that's pretty much been in the business for 24 years. So, um, been making videos for. Uh, for five years, almost five years, we're three people away from hitting our goal of 4,000 subscribers. So if you're uh, not, um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. That would be amazing if we can get the 4,000. So um, thank you guys very much for those who subscribe to the channel. All right. So uh, making your ATM more secure. So one of the best ways to do that is a by figuring out where you're going to when you start you should always start with the whole process so this process should be when you set your atm in the location where do you want to set it so if you're in a convenience store or a gas station or a bar um where do you want to set your atm now back in the day i would say by the door was the best place to put an atm because people saw it when they leave that when they when they come in but if it's in a convenience store i am not pro putting it at the door anymore just because they have things of smash and grab they break the glass um they put a chain around it everybody's seen the videos where they put a truck put a chain around it um and they pull the atm out of the ground now um so what we started doing is now we don't set it right at the door anymore we set it in the store try to set it by a counter or um a little bit more in the middle of the store it makes it a lot harder for the smash and grab type of ATMs. The other thing that we also do is we bolt down our ATM. We went with increased uh, bolts, deeper bolts. We use a three inch uh, shield and um, bolt that looks um, pretty much like this. Okay, this is what we use. And these are the bolts that we, that we use a three inch to secure your ATM into the concrete. This has um, been a lot better. We didn't use these type in the beginning. Um, this has saved more than one ATM by doing this. Um, and we put, make sure we do four. ATM has four holes in it. Uh, truth be told, when we started, we, we 
did it one or two. Just we didn't we didn't uh, really secure it. We learned the hard way, um, and then we started securing. Make sure that every bolt is in there is secured in the cement and and snug in as snug as a smug as we can be. So that's what we use. We also use there. It doesn't have it on here, but we use a bun bunch of washers um, on this on this uh, setup. So this also makes it easier when you know you want to move your ATM out. So then all you're doing is you're going to take your bolt out. This will be in the concrete like that. You can fill this in and away you go. So you don't have to worry about um, some of the ATMs. They have something where you you would take uh, you pound this into the cement and then there's something like this sticking out and you got to put the ATM on top of it like this and bolt it down. And then when you pull your ATM out, you'll have to either saw saw this off or um, saw this off. So uh, store owners don't like that. So you know what? We just go with this shield, and it works every time. It's a very good way to do things um, for us. Now, okay, that's great. So what happens if it's wood? If it's wood, we go from the bottom up. We use something like this. Um, sometimes it's longer. Why would you say that, Bill? Because you know what? Sometimes you got joists that you have to go through. So the joists run like this. We try to go inside the joist. Sometimes there's there's a subfloor. But um, this is about a 12-inch bolt, it, it, maybe about 8 inches. Um, this works. Sometimes we have to go longer. Sometimes we go this way because we have to get in through. We have also we – sometimes we use metal. Um, sometimes when you're on either side of the, of the joist, you, what you do is you uh, run a metal – Bar that goes across the joists, so so you can secure the ATM to the joist. So we do it that way too. Um, that helps out in a wood floor. Uh, if you have a, a basement or a, a crawl space, this works out really good for the wood. Um, now, sometimes guys were using these things in the beginning. If you can see this, with the, now this is just a shorter one, but I found this in the in our uh, toolbox. I just wanted to show you this. What the, uh, we used to use bigger ones that were like this. Um, what they do is you drill the hole, and then this would go in the cement like this. The sleeves work a lot better. This was a good thing back in the day. It's not so much good now. I know a lot of people use these. It's fast. It's easy. But you know what? It's not the most secure thing. They do grab the cement, but you know what? It, it can be a lot secure. That's why we switched to the other one that I showed you with the shield. So... That is how we secure the ATM. We also uh, we also secure the ATM with um, an enclosure in some of the locations, rougher neighborhoods. We'll secure, we'll put an enclosure around the ATM. Um, it's extra fifteen hundred dollars, maybe as much as two thousand, depending on uh, shipping. Um, but we'll put an extra enclosure there, and uh, that. Let's see what this is. Let's see. Um, that will um, that will allow us to do um, uh, that'll allow us to 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 secure our ATM. Now there are some things that will happen. Um, there was a recent now uh, attacks on your ATM. Guys would put skimmers in your ATM and and they would put it on the on the outside. What I, my suggestion is anytime that you are uh, going to your ATM, um, you should always look to see, it, did anybody put a skimming device over the top of your ATM? Most of the time, this doesn't happen in stamps and, and bank bank ATMs, at financial institution ATMs. Um, it doesn't happen uh, here, but um, you, you never can be too careful. So you always inspect your ATM. Did they Do they have a secure, um, do they have uh, a secure, um, I don't know. You just make sure that they didn't put anything on the top of your ATM. The other thing is you want to inspect your ATM to make sure they didn't put anything inside the ATM. Now, um, what we also did is you can also bind your ATM, what they call it man in the middle. There's sometimes there's software that people try to put into your ATM. They'll put a, some kind of device and it'll allow them to, what they call jackpot your ATM. Um, this happened years ago with, now, Shell Song had never happened with Gen Mega, 
but it they they did have um, an older ATM did have some flaws. They since changed their software. They bind what they call binding the, the key. They bind the ATM to dispenser, so they can't do that man in the middle software anymore. Um, it allows them to not be able to do that. But one of the other things that we want to do is is I highly suggest if you have any kind of ATMs out there more than about five, I would change the lock. This is the lock that you can change. You can put your own custom lock on there. It'll run anywhere from seven, as maybe as low as five bucks, all the way to probably $25 a lock. Um, you can get your own custom lock and you can put the custom lock on your ATM. Here's the challenge. You gotta have you gotta have to have a minimum of 12 uh 12 a, a dozen dozen locks, which means you're gonna have six ATMs, one at the top, one at the bottom. But this, this, you know what? You buy um, depending on how long you think you're thinking of being an ATM business, you know what? You buy a couple dozen, and now you have ATMs for the next six ATMs. So you got six out there, you change those, you got that's a dozen, you buy another dozen, you got for another six ATMs, and then you just buy a dozen every time um you run low. You this this little puppy will save anybody from opening up your ATM, putting any kind of malware or software or anything into that ATM. It'll stop um, those guys from putting uh, anything in your ATM. Just want to see. Uh, I want to see anybody have any questions. Uh, comments. Okay. All right. So those are the things that we do. Uh, for the ATM to secure it, change the locks, change, look for software, put put an extra security. Um, we also uh, we um, now Gen Mega they came up with a camera system that they put into the ATM, but it sounds exciting and those guys are smart as can be over at Gen Mega. But here's the challenge: it only works when the ATM is being used. So if the ATM, um, if somebody's using the ATM, it, it can sh see who's using it. But if, if somebody's going to come in, people say, oh, do you, um, are you using that uh, ATM? If they're not using the ATM, then you know what? It's not going to catch whoever's there looking at the ATM. Maybe they're trying to do something deceptive. The other thing that we do is um, uh, we use a variety of different wireless devices Um but one of them, DPL, they have a thing called the shield, which is a tremendous amount uh, of protection for your ATM. It'll it um, what you can do is if you have if you buy the shield, um, one of the things it can do is it can track your ATM. So if somebody decides to steal it, it'll have a tracking device on there that will last for up to oh, two weeks. And that way, if somebody steals your ATM, you can actually figure out, well, where's it? My, where's my ATM? You can alert the police. You can even attach your ATM um, unit to the police station. So if somebody steals it, they'll know exactly where the ATM is. So that's a nice little incentive feature. It also has a nudge or a bump. So if somebody goes to rock the ATM, it'll send an alert. If, if somebody um, cuts the power, it'll send you an alert. So there's all these nice uh, little features on there. So if criminals or crooks, they don't know if there is that kind of um, security feature. So there's no way, even if they cut the power, the thing's going to alert you. If it, it'll, it'll let you know somebody, so if they cut the power. I've seen people, they unplug the ATM thinking, okay, this is no big deal. It's like the power out. But in fact, that will send a signal and alert to, you can send it to your cell phone. It can send it to the police station. It can send it to both. And it can alert whoever this is what's going on. There was a robbery here in the great state of Illinois in the Chicagoland area. I tell this story all the time. There was a couple guys. They were they were stealing ATMs, and what happened is they got um, they stole an ATM with the DPL modem in there with the shield protection. Um, the guy knew where the ATM was. They alerted the police. They tracked the ATM, and in fact. Uh, they found this guy's ATM. He got his money back. Uh, but, you know, lo and behold, this, these guys weren't the first time they did this. And now there was a bunch of ATMs on the property where this was. And so guess what? These guys, um, these guys saw the ATM. The police saw the ATM. They saw 
uh, these criminals and they arrested these guys and these guys went to jail and they're not doing that no more because they're in jail um, for stealing uh, not only this ATM, but multiple ATMs. So I don't know how big their uh, sentence is, but um, they did go away. They're not, they're not going to be out for a long time because of this. And keep in mind, it's a felony offense. Anything over $2,500. I don't know about every state, but in the state of Illinois, it's a felony offense. So um, that's, that's reassuring. You know, that's uh, each felony is, uh, is uh, four years here in Illinois. And if they have multiple, if there's multiple ATMs, I think if they have, you know, that could be 20, 30 years, you know, is it worth it? I guess they, they'd have to be decided, Hey, they're doing what they're trying to do. But there is, there is, what's nice about it is they, um, the DPL modem, again, shout out to DPL. They do a tremendous job, probably one of the best. I'd say every ATM uh, modem, depending on what you want to do, they do a great job. Uh, they provide a signal and, um, and they allow your ATM to communicate. But, but DPL goes one step further. And what they did is they... Um, they put added security for maybe maybe it's not for every neighborhood maybe it's not for every atm but it is for some of the ones in maybe the rougher neighborhoods you're a little uncertain about what to, if you want to put an atm in here you know what this makes you uh, sleep a little bit better at night in case you were worried um, about uh, getting your atm stolen um, so uh what else do we got um All right. Okay. And then, um, uh, and then you can, oh, some of the places, um, one, one of the things that we do look at, or there are other ATM operators and they look to see before I place an ATM in, does it have a security system in there? Do they have an alarm system? Do they have cameras? To me, cameras, I don't really, I, I could care less about the cameras. I need an alarm in the place an alarm that goes off fast because I want to, I want to, I don't want these guys to come in here and have all the time. We did have an ATM. It was an inside job, but we had an ATM. They, they came in, they cut the alarm system. Um, they knew, and they worked on the ATM for about three hours. Um, they didn't get the ATM. They couldn't, they were just trying to hack into the ATM and get the money out. But what happened is they, they cut the alarm when they did that. The police were notified um, the police showed, uh, uh, the, the police ended up showing up, not right away, but they did show up. Um, they just went by and they didn't see anything going on. Then they went by again. Um, and that's when they, they caught the people inside and, um, uh, they knew who they, they knew, um, it was, you know, basically a manager who worked in the store Him and his buddy decided, oh, we're going to go and rob the ATM. But it was nice that, um, that happened because, they had cameras and they had an alarm. They shut the, the guy. Uh, the guy went in, used his own code, shut the alarm off, went there, disabled the camera system, worked on the ATM, um, and then they uh, they went by. He actually left, left somebody else in there. Um, that somebody else got caught. It was it, a whole mess. But you know what? Thank God they had uh, uh, up for the alarm system and you know destroyed the ATM. We ended up getting the ATM, um, but we didn't lose the money. So that was good on our part. All right. So uh, do we see if there's any questions? If there's no questions, oh, here we go. Um, can I see any, any questions? I wanted, I, I can't. So depending on the platform, I can't see uh, questions, but I can see it on Instagram. There's a few of you guys joining on Instagram. If you have any questions, um, Looking to see if there's any questions. If there isn't, then we will, um, we're going to call it a night. I just like, um, we go into our accountability call on our student section. Um, we do have a program. Um, you can go on our website and I'll put it posted in chat. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna post this in 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 the PDQ MEI. If you guys are looking for anything, um, you know, post it here on Instagram. Oh, 
Okay. All right. So that's it. Uh, if there's any other questions, then we're going to um, end tonight. But I just want to say thank you guys very much. Um, real quick, I just, I'll just i just wait for one or two seconds to see if there's any other questions. And if not, then that is that tonight. Uh, I want to say thank you guys very much. Again, my name is Phil from PDQ Merch Enterprises. We go live every Monday at 6 o'clock, usually from about 6 to 6.20. Um, we talk. We have a variety of topics, and then uh, we answer any questions. If you guys have any questions for the ATM business, um, uh, we offer. Uh, we all, we we sell ATMs. We offer processing for your charge. We have we sell parts. We do repairs, and we offer um, consulting if you guys need any. All right. So that is that tonight. I want to say thank you guys very much. Thank you, thank you guys for watching our live. And then if you guys could go to, uh, again, we're three short of uh, three subscribers on YouTube. If you guys could go to YouTube and subscribe to our channel, that would be great. And uh, if this was helpful, please put a fire emojis in the chat. Um, that would be great. Um, and without further ado, I will see you guys in two weeks on Monday. Hope you guys had a good Eclipse Day, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.